I want to talk to you about blossom end rot. It's a problem that you find mostly in tomatoes, but also in peppers and some melons. It's where the end of the fruit goes black. And it's a big problem in some areas. It's early August and people are starting to harvest their tomatoes and they can't because of blossom end rot. You can go on social media and you see these long discussions about all the things you should do about blossom end rot. And guess what? They're almost all myths. They're all wrong. This is a problem that has been heavily studied by the scientists and we know exactly what causes it. The problem is the gardening world has not caught up to scientific knowledge. So there's lots of people out there who think this is a calcium deficiency. And I can't really blame you for that because a number of years ago, that's what the scientists were actually telling us. When they measured tomatoes with BER, they found a low level of calcium and they concluded that the plant wasn't getting enough calcium. So the obvious solution, pour more calcium into the soil. But we have better scientific studies now and they've shown very clearly that the low level of calcium is a result of irregular watering. If the plant is watered either too heavily or not enough, it does not send calcium to the fruit. That means the fruit has low calcium and that's one of the symptoms of blossom end rot. The thing is that most soil has lots of calcium. So this is not a calcium deficiency problem for 99% of you. This is a watering issue. Let's look at some of the other recommendations I see out there. Some people put Tums into the ground. Well, I did a calculation on that and you'd have to put 80 Tum tablets in with every plant. Okay, one tablet is gonna do nothing for you. And by the way, it's not a calcium deficiency, so Tums will probably do nothing. Eggshells, eggshells don't decompose in the soil. They're not gonna solve this problem. Probably the most bizarre suggestion I see, and I see it all the time, is to use Epsom salts. Okay, Epsom salts is magnesium sulfate. Has nothing to do with calcium, has nothing to do with blossom end rot. It will do zero for your plant. In fact, if you put enough Epsom salts on your soil, it may actually make the problem worse because magnesium grabs the calcium in soil and holds on to it. It prevents the plant from getting the calcium. So if anything, it's gonna harm your tomatoes, not make them better. I don't know where that idea comes from. It makes zero sense. So what do you do if you have blossom end rot? Well, there's a couple things. Number one, wait, do nothing. It's very common that the first fruit of the season has blossom end rot, and after that, the fruit's fine. So it solves itself. Number two, mulch. Make sure that the soil is constantly moist. You don't want really wet days and really dry days. And mulch eliminates that problem. Three, water correctly. Only water when the soil is dry. Many people go out there and water every two days, no matter what. And that's how you cause blossom end rot. Now, the fourth problem is the weather. If those tomatoes are forming at a time when you have lots of rain, every day is raining down, there's not much you can do, you probably will get some blossom end rot. As soon as you seed on the fruit, pick those fruits, put them on your compost pile. The problem will correct itself when the weather's a little better. So what is the solution for blossom end rot? Quite honestly, garden appropriately, do nothing. Now I almost never have blossom end rot in my garden. I only had it once, that was two years ago. And I only had it on a couple plants. I mulch with straw, I only water when it's necessary, and I grow in a climate that is not too wet. So I hardly ever see the problem. Don't believe what you see on the internet. Listen to the scientists. Blossom end rot is a watering issue. And do me a favor, Every time you see someone ask that question on the internet, post this video and say, here's the correct answer. We gotta educate gardeners so they start knowing what the truth is. If you'd like to watch videos about more garden myths, I have a whole series and I'll put a link to that in the top right hand corner. I hope your tomatoes grow well this year.